I think every broadcaster kind of does it differently. That was some of the great advice I got right at the start of my career. Ask for boards and examples of notes from every broadcaster that you can, and then just start to see what works for you. So my boards have definitely evolved over the years. I used to be embarrassed by all the sticky notes and everything I had, um, but then I just realized it works for me and I'm getting better and that's all that matters. So I shouldn't be embarrassed by all my sticky notes. Again, blue is for the Sixers tonight. Um, I like to color coordinate things just because that's how my brain works. So I know if I have numbers written in green, that's because of what they did against the Boston Celtics. If I have something written in red, it's against the Raptors. I just really relate colors to teams in the sports that I call. Um, so I've just continued that here in Philly. I'm really happy to be here in Philly because I relate to that blue collarness. And I never had anything handed to me at any point in my life. Back in 2016, there was a number of moments where I was sleeping in my car after my radio shift and was doing Pac-12 television in the afternoon at night. So here I was from the outside, everybody was thinking, oh, she's had her big break, she called 49ers games. And I had a pillow and a blanket in my car and I would find a street in San Francisco, wish them shade and pull over. And I was getting ready in Target and Bed Bath and Beyond bathrooms because they have plugs for curling irons before I was calling high school football games. So there was a lot of grind. Um, this is not, I think, as glamorous as some folks think. For young women, young men, young anybody who are coming up and want to be in a position like yours or want to be the first at something, yeah. what would you tell those people that are coming up behind you? Hmm. Don't focus on being the first. Um, my favorite saying, it's little by little, one walks far. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's sports broadcasting, whether it's playing the NBA, it's important to set that big goal. And then what are the very small things that are going to help you get there? My first job was a radio traffic producer. I wasn't even on the air, but I knew that I needed to get my foot in the door of the broadcasting industry. How did that ever turn into the voice of the 76ers? It's hard to make sense of that, but keep pushing yourself to get better. Keep telling people what your goals are. Um, be kind to everybody, that is so important. People hire people that they wanna work with. And um, just keep going, because it's gonna be hard, and there's gonna be lots of times when you question uh, if you belong, if you can do this, and uh, just keep going back to work the next day. A huge win early in the season, Ala. We're just getting started. Heck yeah, we are. Wait is finally over, Sixers fans. Basketball is back right here in the city of brotherly love as we welcome you back to the Wells Fargo Center. It is time for the 76ers preseason home opener. These two squared off Monday in Toronto. Now time to play a little ball here in South Philly. The Raptors and the Sixers tonight right here on NBC Sports of Philadelphia. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the floor here at the center. You know this guy, Ala Abdel Nabi. Uh, Mark Zumoff looks different all of a sudden. Ala. Hi there, everyone. My name is Kate Scott, and I am so honored and just incredibly pleased to be sitting where Mark's at for 27 years and looking forward to having a whole lot of fun with this guy and hopefully all of you for a very long time, Ala. Absolutely. We're so happy to have you. Allow me, on behalf of everyone at NBC Sports Philadelphia and Sixer fans worldwide, we know you've got big shoes to fill. We know you're going to be able to do it. We're so glad you're here. Welcome aboard. It's time down. Reed. A new career high for Paul Reed. Shake 10 of 16. Yeah. You mentioned the 9 of 11. That's efficient. Looking for more and he's got it. Another two-handed rim rocker for Paul Reed. Jordan. Oh, second reverse hoop of the day. Harris to Jordan. Still 11 minutes to go on our Wendy's Frosty Freeze Out Clock. And the, and the game clock today. Here is snuck in! And again! And again! Jordan, double thumbs up to the bench. Kiss up to anybody, but we really do like some, I'd like some of the changes they've made. They'll play in games involving two extra teams. Harris, a new season high from three for Tobias Harris. Five triple Williams for the lead. He missed it. Tobias had it. Matisse throws it up. Sixers are going to win this ball game. Tyrese Maxey and the Sixers are going to win this game. Ten of 16, yeah. you mentioned the 9 of 11, that's efficient. Looking for more and he's got it. Another two-handed rim rocker for Paul Reed. Oh, no. 
motion down the lane, up and in. Looking for more. Pushing off a little bit and drilling it. Shake Milton is feeling it in this fourth quarter. From the crowd, the ball's in the air and the place goes bonkers. Oh, yeah, and Joel Embiid's in the building. He seems to be happy, too. <laughs> Lost to a shorthanded Heat squad was a gut punch. This would be a heck of a win for the Sixers. Tyrese. Oh, my goodness. Heat have a foul to give. Get it into Harris. Then it's tipped away. Martin blocked by Tyrese Maxey. What? A lot taller than Tyrese is, but that doesn't seem to matter at all. Get that nonsense out of here. 16 and 7 for Embiid. And more good defense. Two on one. Maxi up top to Harris with the hammer. Sixers looking very focused in the second half. Maxi looking for more. He's got it. Just the third quarter you'd hope for. It. If you're Doc Rivers, step back, James Harden, right on target. Sixers running away with this one in the third quarter. Some teams break the press to score immediately, punish them for taking chances. Maxi puts it on the deck. Wow, oh my goodness, wow, Tyrese Maxi. Wow. Harden blows right past Siakam, but no look to Niang for three. Bang, bang, George Niang. Sixers. Rolling in this third quarter. Nate Bjorkren, Adrian Griffin, Nick Nurse, of course. Heck of a year for them. Until until we get maybe to the final minutes. <laughs> Embiid. Ooh, oh, ooh. Joel Embiid. No when, doubt. When I say that this guy was ticked off for greatness. Oh, the oop to Paul Reed from Tyrese Maxey. Getting on 28 points. Joel, tough turnaround in the lane. Another 30 and 10 performance for Joel Embiid. Oh my goodness. And Nick Nurse is telling Van Vliet to get back into the lane, play defense there, because again, just point nine on the shot. Embiid turns, fires for the win. Joel Embiid and the Sixers take game three here in Toronto. Extra period from Joel Embiid. Let's take one more look. Ball in the front court. Screens around him, he comes to it. My goodness, my 